Good morning, everyone. I am doing a collective daily reading to see what, as a collective, you know, because we are all one, to see what we can expect, okay? This is, like I said, it's collective, so if it doesn't resonate, don't, if it doesn't resonate, I'm so tired. If it doesn't resonate, you don't have to accept it, okay? Like, don't accept a reading if it's not your story, ever, okay? All right, Spirit, what can we expect today? All right, this came out, so right now you're feeling like you're done. Some of us have been feeling like we've been stabbed in the back, betrayed. This is the energy you're in right now. What's your foundation, though, or your root is the world. This is <clears throat> renewal. This is an end to an old cycle. This is great. This is amazing. This is like Woosa, I am so happy. I'm not dealing with that right now. So, yes, that's coming to an end. That, that pain, um, the depression, the stress is coming to an end. What is benefiting us is the Page of Wands. So that fiery inspiration, um, that new idea you're going after. The Ace of Wands is when you get the, the first thought of it. You know, it's the beginning. And then when you do the Page of Wands, that's when you're writing down your affirmations. That's when you're writing down your game plan or you're meditating or you're, you know, I mean, it's a lot. I don't know exactly what's going on until I see all of it. Okay, what's on your mind is the chariot, forward movement. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, you're coming out of this right here. Okay. Beautiful. A whole flip over. Yes, yeah, seven of cups is the outcome. So, by coming out of this energy right here, you have options. The universe is your bottom of the deck energy was the star all right spirit why in the world now this could be job related since we got the seven of cups and also also relationship related and let me explain why someone is very hurt okay ten of swords um, that is Gemini energy you may be a Gemini or dealing with a Gemini or someone that has it strong in their chart um, but Ten of Swords, is it's done. It's done. All right? Um, it's over. But it hurts, you know. It's, it hurts to feel like, you know, you've been just murdered by every sword. You know, it hurts to know that you've been backstabbed or cheated on or lied on. It's whack as fuck, right? But the foundation is the world. So the universe is stepping forward saying, look, you've been through enough. So it's time to move on. It's time to move on because... The longer you stay in this victim energy, you're just going to be stuck down there while this deer is looking at you like, bruh, come on, man. But yeah, the fact that this is your foundation is the closing of something, maybe the job, maybe the relationship, um, and you're just, you're getting your confidence back and you realize, hey, I have the skills to pay my bills, period. All right, so what's benefiting you is that passion, that page of wands energy, um, basically, well, of course it's Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but yeah, um, it's a vision, right? It's passion, strong willed, active, um, sexual or career wands goes either way. Um, but you know, it's just passion, right? Something passionate you're about something. And I, I'm feeling, honestly, if I channel this, I'm feeling like you're passionate about yourself. You're passionate about your growth. You're passionate about your abundance. You're like, you're okay, it's time to rebuild. It's time to get back to the baddest bitch to do it, right? The chariot, cancer energy. So, yeah, the chariot is forward movement. She's not looking back. She's looking ahead. Matter of fact, she's looking at those mountains ahead of her. She's like, mm, yeah, I can, I, can, I can scale that. But, yeah, um, on your mind is forward movement, like not staying in this energy. So that is awesome, right? Um, and then your outcome is the seven of cups. So that's choices. So the fact that you're changing your reality, you know, you're shifting your universe and your reality to how you want it. And it's not in this shit right here, but coming out and actually closing the chapter and moving on, the universe just starts giving you the desires of your heart, but of course you're going to have to make a choice, right? Because you can't be out here doing the most, all right? 
but you're definitely moving on. And the star as the under the deck energy, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. That is refreshment, renewal, Woosaw card. I mean, that's the card where you've been through it. And I mean, see how she's pouring, you know, her water in the water. I mean, like she is pure refreshment. Like I said, she is, the star is Aquarius energy, you know, the water bearer. So that energy is just like refreshing and calm and supportive and vibey. You know what I mean? So I hope you get that. All right. Um, let's get some angel guidance. I'm proud of us. I'm proud that, you know, we're not stuck in the past anymore and we're moving forward. It's a good thing, right? Beautiful energy. Thank you guys. Angel spirit guide ancestors. What do the angels have for the collective for today? And you know time is fluid, guys. It, days, hours, stuff doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter when this comes out. What matters the most is when you see it, okay? So I'm going to change the title to Timeless because this could hit people at different times. But it resonates a lot with me today. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, it just depends. All right. Trust the universe. See? I told you the universe stepped in. I was like, all right, we've seen enough. We've seen enough of you being depressed and wounded and upset, but now it's time to get back to the baddest. It's time to be that person. <laughs> you know who you are. So, um, yeah, you were hurt and you were betrayed and you were done so, so wrong. But in order for us, and I know how this feels, I know how this feels, guys, but in order for us to become <laughs> this <laughs> and this, <laughs> right here. We have to accept the world. We have to accept the closing of the chapter. Okay. So yeah, trust the universe. Oh, wow. <laughs> Can we say we're spoiled? So yes, holy love, definitely universe backing you. You got mother coming through, you know, divine mother. You got the, I mean, this is just a beautiful energy. I'm super duper duper excited about it. Let's see what our divine power affirmation is. That's, that was beautiful guys. Beautiful reading. All right. Thank you, guys. Angel, spirit guide, ancestors, sacred ones. What divine power affirmation do you have for the collective? This was beautiful. Oh, whoa. two of them. Okay. Let's see what under the deck is. The shit. I am the fucking shit. I understand that I am the best. And this does not make me better or worse than anyone else. I release comparison. This is, this is, you know why this is funny that this came out? Because I want to say, because you're the baddest bitch to do it, but I didn't want to say it, you know. And then look, the card just came out that said you're the baddest, right? All right. And then you have my truth. I speak and walk in my divine truth. My truth does not harm myself or another. My truth is love. Just like that. You're not thinking you're better than anybody else, family. You just, we just, you know, you know. You know, discipline. Loving the self requires placing my peace above all else, and that requires discipline. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. This is definitely about self love, self growth, and moving on. So, beautiful energy. I love it. Thank you for watching. This is your little timeless collective reading. I appreciate you all so much. And remember, we are magic and we are one. And I'm so proud of us for moving on from this energy. Good for us. Have a good one.